the Waltham Community Leadership Group. It is an organization consisting of primarily homeless people and recently housed people who are working to help other homeless people. We are very actively involved at many levels in helping to promote the cause of homeless people. A simple example is when people, uh, particularly during the height of COVID, the library was closed, so you couldn't use the bathroom in the library. And so we worked with the city to get outhouses that were placed outside in front of the library so people could access outhouses uh, 24 hours a day. We have also worked with the city of Waltham in describing some of the conditions at the Bristol Men's and Women's Shelter because there are some very serious deficiencies, including their in-access by um, people who um, are injured or um, in a wheelchair. We have also talked about the lack of direction, the lack of hiring of trained counselors. Over the course of the winter, Another thing that um, one of our affiliate organizations, Chaplains on the Way, does is we serve breakfast to the homeless Monday through Friday, five days a week. It started off on just a, a, a whim uh, with Becky and Eusti, and uh, they, uh, they, we needed some funding, so uh, they asked me to tag along. I was homeless at the time. I was very angry, you know. Uh, but I was hanging out with them because I needed to... You can get into a lot of trouble out here, being homeless. Or if trouble comes to you. And that had been happening to me. And it happens to everybody if you stay out here long enough. So I said, okay, I'm going to tag along. And uh, they wanted me to speak in front of this panel. I didn't realize it was going to be like um, over half a dozen board directors you know, um, and uh, I spoke, I guess, the reality. I, I, um, I told them that um, when you become homeless, you lose all your rights as a human being and you lose all your respect. And so we discussed that and uh, it was a grant for $12,000. Now, other people had applied. I didn't think we'd get it. Because, uh, first of all, this group usually gives out money for tangible things. Like if somebody needs a van mm -hmm. or a ramp or whatever. And they had never yeah. given money for something like this before. So we're not going to get it. But hey, what the hell, right? And uh, they called back and they said, uh, we got it. And they said it was because of me. And I was floored mm -hmm. that they even said that. Because mm -hmm. I have, I'm not a fundraiser. And, uh, I, I mean, I was just floored. And I was, I was happy because this is the, the first good thing that I've done in a long time out here. Mm -hmm. And it gave me a sense of uh, purpose and pride. And I figured um, if I'm having trouble, I know other people are having trouble for a fact. Mm -hmm. And if I'm looking for help, I'm going to bring other people with me up with me. I'm not going to do it just for myself. I want me and everybody else. Waltham Community Leadership Group really consists of, I would say, three bunches of people, some homeless folks, some volunteers, residents, I am one of them, and it in includes chaplains on the way and some chaplains that are in training. So really it's a few different bunches of folks coming together. Meets every Tuesday, uh, 9.30 to 10.30. Like, we'll just go around the circle. People pick subjects they want to talk about. We write them on the board, and we try to cover at least three subjects a week. Not only how do they get a home, it's sometimes what are the needs right now as they go along? Where can they get food? Where can they get some clothing? What about things you could buy at the drugstore? 
We have supplied different things by having volunteers gather from Temple Beth Israel and Waltham, from churches, from related people, connecting people. I think what we can do, and what we have done, is address some of the needs right now. Where do you go for help? We can direct people if they don't know about the Community Day Center, if they're new to this area and they don't know where to go for some help. I think we're a good traffic cop, mm -hmm. sort of directing. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that's a part of it too. We have fun barbecues, but also very serious conversations and things going forward. We have so many new relationships and friendships and um, little problems in people's lives that have gotten solved just because we're together talking and, you know, doing this. And that's all we really want is to have a conversation. Not just people up there talking, but doing as much listening so that you get to share your side of it, your opinion, your perspective, whatever it is, your um, uh, dealings with it. But you also get something out of it. You stop and you listen to what other people are going through. Mm -hmm. the homelessness, it can happen to anybody. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's, what, that's the biggest thing I say. Like, a lot of people live in paycheck to paycheck or struggling and money's tight it like if something falls through it can just happen it's not something people like i never when i grew up i never thought i was going to be homeless mm -hmm. i never thought i was going to be an addict or anything like that mm -hmm. how long have you been housed so it's been like three years maybe maybe four years but i was homeless for 10. nobody tells you when you're homeless or unhoused that um, nobody's gonna respect you, that police are gonna harass you, that uh, you're not a human being anymore. Our current big project is the Housing Summit, which is a very big event that is taking place on February 28th, and it will be in First Parish Church. We hope to bring lots of different groups of people, agencies, people in the government, at the state level, representatives at the state house, local folks, the city councilors, the mayor hopefully, and get a lot of agencies together that all have an interest in knowing what can be done in Waltham for better housing. Basically, we want to talk about affordable housing, what do low-income folks do, what are people doing that are, find themselves homeless and are working their way back to being a home of some sort and get off the street, out of those shelters, and be able to afford something. So, just not enough housing. So that's our, the gist of it. I hope that we will let people know what's going on with out here and with all the unhoused people, and that we're human beings. And I'd like to build bridges with all the people that were invited, uh, because they are uh, a great organization, but uh, I see there's no bridges between us, and that's what we need. Um, I'm not here to play the blame game. I'm not even here for uh, uh, constructive criticism. Uh, it's gonna be a learning curve for everybody, and that's what I hope. Every single unhoused person, family, unit is completely different, just like all of us. It's happening to them for a very unique reason. Um, the solution for them, also very unique. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, their experience with all of it, completely unique. I've, I've heard similar stories from other unhoused people that sometimes mirror some of mine and we can sit and talk about that and share more stories. <laughs> but other times they're so unique that I realize that's really what the problem is, is that even those of us who've experienced homelessness don't know what everybody else is going through and can't always be there to help or even understand or put our compassion hat we I guess that is the time for the compassion hat to realize that you don't know what anybody else is going through the unhoused community not just in Waltham but really across the country um, it's extremely varied there are um, I know personally of two PhDs who um, I know in the homeless community. There are people who are 
um, haven't graduated from high school, and so they were hope hopefully working towards getting a GED. And there, um, I have a graduate degree from Harvard, and um, there are a lot of college graduates as well. And so I have been homeless in the Bristol Lodge, and I also spent a year and a half living in my car. So unfortunately, I've been homeless a long time. I'm currently housed in my own room in an apartment, um, and that's the way I want my uh, associates to be as well. And we are people just like them, all of us had lives, all of us had careers. In fact, most of us were very successful in our careers. But we had things happen, death of a spouse, mm -hmm. mental illness, addiction, uh, a, a, a physical illness to yourself, mm -hmm. you know, raise and rent. Yeah, of course. Okay, and uh, uh, personally, that's how I wound up here. Mm -hmm. My spouse was sick for a long time and then he died and then they kept raising the rent and then they raised it to outrageous and I, I wound up, I tried to fight it, but I lost. We spent all our money, you know, we took out from our 401k, um, I had sold, I had owned half a, uh, half a property, uh, I sold it when, uh, when we had that um, depression. I lost over 50%, but I sold the property and we used, even though we had insurance, we used the money um, on his treatments. So, you know, and, and you do that. You do that for somebody you love, you know. Primary objective is to have the mayor and the city council and um, government officials hear directly from the homeless about their experience. And we will have people, including myself, who will be talking about our experience uh, being homeless House in Simone will be Tuesday night, February 28th, 5 p.m. till 7.30 at the First Parish Church in Waltham.